Now here we are going to see how to associate an ASP label with a text box or other form control. To associate a label with a text box or other form control, we can use associate control ID property of the label control and set its value as the uh, text box name or any ASP.NET server control name. Now let us see this. Uh, we are on here label page.aspxp and in this I have a label and I have uh, specified its associated control ID property to the txt first name text box that is here. Now what will happen is that when I will click this particular label text then this text box uh, will get selected. Let's say this. Now I am going to click this first name and you will notice that the cursor will appear into this text box. That proves the fact that this particular first name uh, label has been associated with this text box. Now if you, if you go to the code behind you will notice that uh, this particular the first name is now up wrapped with the label HTML label control not a span tag. Normally what happens normally when we write any text into the ASP label control it, it, it is wrapped with a span tag but as soon as you will specify associated control ID then a span tag will not be there but that particular text of the ASP label control will be wrapped with the label control and that label will be associated with the text box that you had specified into the associated control ID. The next how to we are going to see is how to write HTML content from the server side to ASP.NET page. In order to write HTML content from the server side to ASP.NET page we can use the literal control. Okay, Let's see this with example. Here is my literal page and in this page I have a literal control and this literal control I have a specified text is equal to this is written from the AS text page and this is uh, this string is wrapped with the bold tag. So what will happen is as soon as I will browse this page you will notice that uh, the, the output of this particular page will come into the bold. Sorry, Let me go ahead and uh, again see the source code. Now let's come here. Now here you can see that this is written from ASPX page is wrapped with the bold exactly it is coming exactly same as I have written on the ASPX page. Okay. Now here is the difference between the label control and the literal control. If I would have used the label control this text this text would have wrapped into the span tag but if but because here I have written to the little control so whatever text I will specify into the little control that will exactly come onto the web page. The next how to is that how to write encoded text on the web page. Okay. In order to write encoded text on the web page we can specify mode property of the little control to encode. Okay. Let's see this with example here. So here is my uh, little control, a little 3 and its mode property is written as in code and in the code behind what I am doing is that I am writing level 3 dot text is equal to this should not appear in bold. Why? Because mode property is specified as in code. So what will happen is that all the HTML tax will get convert will be encoded and it will appear as it is into the browser. So you can see here is that this label 3 is appearing as it is into the browser. Ideally this B and B should have converted into the bold tag and this particular text should have come into the bold style but it will not because I have a specified mode property of the little control to encode. So it will get HTML encoded. Now let us see this, the source code. You, you can see here the source code. This should not come into the bold and the less than and greater than symbol is encoding, is getting encoded. And that's why it is appearing as it is on the browser here. Okay, and the next uh, how to is related with a text box. <laughs> text 
text box control is basically used to display a text box on the web page and that is used to take the input from the user okay now how to programmatically set the text box value and get the text box value in order to programmatically programmatically set the text box value and get the text box value we can access the text property so if we have to set the value then we will write uh, text box id in my case it is txt first name dot text is equal to and whatever string or whatever text i want to specify i can uh, write it here in order to retrieve the text box value we can use uh, any string variable and then txt first name dot text so in order to set we can set the value in order to retrieve we can simply access that property text property and we will be able to access it let's see here now in this case i have a asp uh, text box and its id is txt first name run it equal to server this will simply bring uh, a text box and in the code behind of this page what i am doing is that in the page load event i am writing txt first name dot text so what it will do is that this will write the, this particular string into the text box and in the next this particular line of code will retrieve the value of the text box and it will store th that value into the first name string variable let us uh, browse this page and you will see that in this text box it is coming set code f uh, set from code behind see here set from code behind is written and that is exactly appearing into the text box and now the next uh, uh, how to is how to render a password type text box in order to write or in order to render a password type text box we can specify text mode is equal to password and that what it will do is that it will bring the text box into the password mode so that whatever you will type that will that, that particular character will not appear but only dot will appear so let's see this in this page i have a text box whose uh, text mode is password here you can see that password and text box txt password run it equal to server and text mode equal to password now when i will run this page and i will uh, if I, I want to write anything into this password box it will not appear here okay but the dot will appear only so this is the way to render a password text box on the browser by specifying the text mode property to password now then in this how to we are going to see how to specify the auto complete type of the text box and what is the use of it okay auto complete type is a kind of intelligence to the text box that appears when a user try to type characters into the text box this helps in faster inting data to the html form in order to specify certain category of autocomplete type that is shared across all the web pages we can specify autocomplete type property of the text box now this property is valid only for the text box not for the password text box or multi line text boxes okay in order to share all categories of autocomplete type to the text box set its value as none it means that I want this particular text box to share all the intelligence, all category of intelligence, uh, of uh, all category of autocomplete type intelligence. Then we can set its property as none. So what it will do is that it will it will share all type of autocomplete type. See here, all these types of autocomplete type will be shared to this particular text box. Okay. If we want to disable the autocomplete feature of the text box, we can set its property as disabled. And if we want a certain auto type of autocomplete to display for a particular text box, we can select uh, from the enumeration value that appears in the Visual Studio. For example, company department. You can see here is that in this image, these enumer enumerations of autocomplete type is appearing. If I want my autocomplete type of this particular text box to company then i can select company here and all the company related autocomplete type for this text box will appear 
uh, as an intelligence now let us see this with example here first what i'm going to do is that i am going to specify its auto completed type to first name okay that's is basically the value from the intelligence now when i will refresh this page and when i will try to enter uh, my date um, uh, some character here you can see that i am getting the intelligence it's a kind of auto complete in in a lazy word we can say you now intelligence now if i don't want this particular intelligence or auto complete type auto complete then we can specify this to uh, sorry disabled and now when i will refresh this page and try to write anything here you can see that i am not getting any intelligence now if i want to share intelligence or auto complete type of all categories then i can specify none here and i will notice that all different different kinds of whatever i had written here whatever i'm trying to write it here with auto complete type of different uh, categories are appearing uh, as intelligence of this particular text box